reply. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Um, I'd like to thank uh, all my colleagues uh, from uh, all the parties for, uh, for, their, uh, for their statements this uh, afternoon. Uh, it's uh, definitely a sign of strength for the Tamil community that we can cross party lines and, and come together on such an important and very symbolic uh, issue that affects uh, all Tamil Canadians. I want to thank my colleagues uh, who spoke uh, not just today but also at the last session uh, recognizing um, M24 as Tamil Heritage Month every January uh, for their support and solidarity. Since I last took the floor in May uh, on this topic, I want to share some very personal stories, stories that speak to the history, strength, and resolve of the Tamil Canadian community. This July, I visited Sri Lanka after a prolonged period of time, where I personally saw the enormous destruction that took place over a 26-year civil war. It is a country where I was born, yet it's a country in which it is very difficult for Tamils to live in peace, security, and equality, or even call it home. It is a country that is unable to protect the unique Tamil language, culture, people, and land. My visit gave me a closer look into the ongoing conflict. It, is con it confirmed to me that while the armed conflict is over, the underlying issues for Tamils are far from it. The foundation for peace on the island must be one based on a robust federal system that respects all minorities, equality, human rights, and the strict adherence to the rule of law. I return to Canada grateful as always to come back to this country that I call home. Canada gave me and my family refuge in 1983. It is a country that has given abundance of rights, freedoms, and opportunities for me and my family. In Canada, the basis of your success or failure is not predetermined by who you are or where you came from. In many ways, the rest of my summer was spent reflecting on this reality. I had the opportunity to go to St. John's, Newfoundland to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the first Tamil boat refugees that arrived on our shores in 1983. We celebrated the great people of Admiral's Beach, our Coast Guard, Captain Gus and Ram Dalton and his crew who saved the 155 Tamils and the survivors and their children who made that heroic journey. I want to thank the Canadian Tamil Congress for their hard work in organizing this event and celebrating Tamil Canadian history. I also want to thank the great people of Newfoundland for their generous welcome as always. I then had the opportunity to attend the second annual Tamil Fest in August of this year. It is the largest street festival in all of Scarborough. The event saw over 175,000 Torontonians celebrate Tamil food, culture, and people. In September, the Canadian Tamils Chamber of Commerce celebrated its 25th anniversary at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre, and I was proud to induct the first ever Hall of Fame award winner, Dialan Muttalingam of The Cable Shop. To see the countless Tamil Canadian business leaders who have succeeded under great adversity was truly inspiring. It is motivating to see the likes of Dr. Ravi Kugadasan of Digital Specialty Chemicals who gleed at the 23 PhDs that currently work for him. Les semaines dernières, je me suis rent Last week, I traveled to a Tamil school in Dollar des Ormeaux with my friend, the Honorable Member for Dollar des Ormeaux in Quebec. The Tamils in the school spoke three languages, French, English, and Tamil, with a great deal of pride. I stand in front of you as a proud member of this community, a community whose contributions to Canada is really just beginning. We have come a long way both as Canadians and as Tamil Canadians. In closing, I want to thank the many individuals and organizations that have worked to make this initiative a reality. My friend, my friends, the collective advocacy and contributions of various community leaders, organizations, and all levels of governments across this nation efforts speak to the fact that preserving Tamil heritage in Canada does not begin or end in partisan lines. And it is because of our collective efforts that all Canadians will now be able to celebrate Tamil Heritage Month every January from coast to coast to coast. I want to leave where I started last May by acknowledging that we are on the traditional unceded lands of the Algonquin people, and I want to thank our indigenous peoples for sharing their land. Nandri, merci, thank you, miigwech.
Is the House ready for the question? La question est la suivante. The question is as follows. Angry, seconded uh, by Mr. Soroya, moved that in the opinion of the House, the government should recognize the contributions that Tamil Canadians have made to Canadian society, the richness of the, of the Tamil language and culture, and the importance of educating and reflecting upon Tamil heritage for future generations by declaring January every year Tamil Heritage Month. Is it the pleasure of the House to adopt the motion? All those in favor of the motion will please say yay. All those opposed will please say nay. In my opinion, the yeas have it. Pursuant to Standing Order 93, the recorded division stands deferred until Wednesday, October 5, 2016, immediately before the time provided for private members' business. It being 5.30 p.m.